Welcome to this current affair topic. In this topic, we will take Himalayan trillium and the Nocticula scintillans. Okay, so these two species are in the news. So what are the important facts related to these two species? This is plant and the species we will see in the coming slide. So before moving ahead to this lecture, I will request you to please go through this lecture till the end so that you will have a complete knowledge regarding this topic. And please subscribe this channel. This is a new channel, so I need your support. So, what is this Himalayan trillium? If you see, there is a three leaves in that one set. Okay. So, Himalayan trillium has been exploited beyond the capacity and having the herb survival threatened. So, it is like it is helping in preparation of the stride and all the stride like the, when the bodybuilding people used to take. And it helps in painkiller it acts as a painkiller also destroyed so this himalayan trillium is in the news that it has been exploited too much and it came under the endangered one by the iucn so it is a common herb for the himalayan region and it grow mostly in the moist hill slope with dense tree cover and it is a natural source of estroid saponins which can which this one is also known as the painkiller so while the bodybuilders people sometimes used to take it and if it is found they have been removed from that fight also or they have been banned from that fight so steroid saponins which are important components of the steroidal drugs and the plants germinated from the underground tubers immediately after snow melt in april became the dominant in the september as winter set in just think just see how difficult it is to grow and the get flowers from it so the mature plants which can live to 30 years or more usually produce only one flower per year and vegetative production through the tubers occur only in a very old plants not in the all plants okay so it is very difficult to get the flowers and also that's why this over exploitation of this plant it came under the endangered one okay so the temperature and the subalpine zones of the Himalayas at an altitude of 2400 meter to 4000 meter it's present and India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, China, Nepal, Bhutan have been to home to this species and Indian Himalayas state like Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim and the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir process this hub so it was declared as an endangered by the IUCN to hold this region okay so what are the uses of this medicine it will help in the dysentery sepsis wounds inflammation skills point rationing and all menstrual cycle it will help in menstrual cycle helping in the menstrual related issues and the sexual disorder so you can understand the importance of this plant and the exploitation the way it has been exploited the iuc and has been kept it under the endangered one okay now the another topic is the nocticular scintillus scintillus noctica noctiluca scintillans okay so this is in the news and in the karnataka coast it has been witnessed that this bloom of this noctiluca scintillans that have been displaced microscopic algae called the diatom so if you see in this figure it looks very beautiful but it is not good for the nature good for the environment okay so people used to come and go they are watching that this blue color in the night this is looking very beautiful but it is a very dangerous thing so what is this nocturnal scintillance we will see so diatoms that is present in the water it forms a basis of the marine food chain okay and on that fish comes and feed on this so the bloom of noctiluca scintillans displacing this diatom this bloom this noctiluca scintillans bloom is displacing the diatoms and has deprived food for the planktivorous fish ultimately the planktivorous fish has deprived the food they are not getting food because of this displacement of this removing of this diatoms due to through this noctiluca scintillans so the toxic blooms of this noctiluca scintillans are linked to the massive fish and the marine invertebrates queen the killing of those massive fish and the marine invertebrates in invertebrate leads to the bloom of this noctiluca scintillans though the species does not produce a toxic substance it is found to be accumulated toxic levels of ammonia so ammonia is not good for any health if the fish feeds on it if the fish has been impacted with the ammonia ultimately this ammonia will reach into the human body because human feeds on the fish okay so it is not good 
it is not a good symbol as it release it accumulates the level of ammonia which is then excreted into the surrounding water and possibility acting as a killing agent in blooms as the fish may feed on it if the fish feeds that substance that will have ammonia ultimately it will enter into the human chain human body chain okay so the ammonia makes north uh, noctiluca scintillans unpleasant for the most of the creatures and only jellyfish and the salps are prey on it and ultimately some humans some countries used to feed on the jellyfish also so this may enter into the human body if in the sea if you see in the china and japan regions you will see that people are feeding on the jellyfish too so noctica scintillans graze on other microorganisms such as larva fish eggs and diatoms so this jellyfish this concept this news is with respect to india i have just given the country that we that used to eat jellyfish also but with respect to india nobody is in that most of the people don't eat jellyfish and salps okay so the not uh, noctilca scintillans graze on the microorganisms such as larva fish and the diatom so this ultimately is impacting the population of the fish but the unicellular phytoplankton that lives on the noct noctilca scintillans can photosynthesis also and turning sunlight into energy so if you see that it is acting as an animal also and it is acting as a plant also so if it is not getting food it will it will turn the sunlight energy into sunlight into its energy to revive it so this helps the host survive even wi even without food I even even when the food is scarce this noctical scintillans act as a both plant and animal if the food is not present in the abundant then it will utilize the sunlight to get the energy okay you can just understand how dangerous it, it is that it is acting as a plant also it is acting as an animal also if if the food if if like if the killing of the fish and the animals is less and this noctilus sentinels is not getting food that much then ultimately it will utilize the sunlight okay so you can you can understand the dangerous situation of this noctilus sentinels so they are commonly known as sea sparkle it generates a colorful blue color that looks very beautiful in the night so the bio luminescent noctilus sentinels are also brightens the sea water at the night okay and bioluminescence is the production and the emission of light by a living organism and occurs due to chemical reaction involving light emitting molecule and an enzyme that called that is called a luciferin and luciferase so you have to remember this two term that involving a light emitting molecule and enzyme these two enzymes that light emitting molecules and enzymes these two are called as a luciferin and the luciferase due to these two things present in that as an enzyme and the molecule this noctica scintillans brightens the water okay so I think you have understand this lecture please like and subscribe your subscription is a form of payment for me if you have any doubts if you want any on demand video lecture please feel free to ping on my twitter handle thank you